standing at the feet. Master Commissioner Ory will lead us in prayer. Commissioner Higginbotham will lead us in pledge to our flag. Uh, before I do the prior tonight, uh, Ron Dealbeck, one of his employees, had a big house fire last night uh, and lost everything he had and has four children. So if there's any help that you can give, get with Ron. He, he talked to me this evening about it. But also remember him prayers through the week goes by. Let's pray. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for this good evening and the blessings of our life. Thank you for all that you do for us, dear Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the children, dear Jesus. Thank you for the blessings that we get from those children. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all that you do for us. Bless each and every one. Dear Heavenly Father, give us knowledge and understanding to make the best decisions for our county this evening, Father. Dear Heavenly Father, lead, guide, and direct us throughout this day and throughout this coming week. Bless our families and our friends. Bless the sick, dear Jesus, this evening. Bless our soldiers. Watch over each and every one. Thank you for all that you do, but most of all, I want to thank you for the plan of salvation. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May be seated. Commissioner, please check in. Check in. No. That's your last two dollars. See that? Two points. Yeah. Thank you. We have four. Uh, tonight we uh, we have the pleasure of having some athletes here with us, and uh, let's see. I've had I've had. Uh, People in my house have gone to school at, at Jacksboro on there the Eagles. And I've had people in my house go to school at Campbell County High School near the Cougars. And I uh, had somebody go to school at Carroll. And uh, oh, what's their name? Cardinal. What? Cardinal. Oh, wait. Cardinal. No. Louder <laughs> than that. It's Carroll who? Cardinal. There we go. All right. We got the Carroll Cardinals here with us. Good job. Um, and I'm going to ask uh, I'm going to ask the Lady Cardinals to join me up here. Any coaches? Yeah. Ray Gun. <laughs> <laughs> we like celebrating, and so uh, our county commissioners get to hear about all the good things that happen out in their districts, and uh, I get to hear about the good things that happen across the county, and uh, man. Uh, Carol basketball has uh, got it going on here. So we would like to read a, uh, a proclamation here tonight uh, honoring this fine group of young people and these coaches here with us uh, tonight. So Campbell County, Tennessee, Office of the County Mayor and County Commission to Carroll Elementary Lady Cardinals basketball team. Whereas the Carroll Elementary 2018 Lady Cardinals is a team made up of 13 players, Nine fifth graders, one fourth grader, one third grader, and a second grade, and two second graders. And whereas the team has three leading scorers, fifth grade player Reagan Davis, fifth grade all tournament player Emma Kate Lawson, and fifth grade player all county and tournament MVP uh, Kylie Thompson. And whereas the team played undefeated in county play, with their only season loss to Clinton Blaze fifth and sixth grade team. And whereas the Lady Cardinals won the first round of the county tournament with a win of 33-12 and advanced the championship round to win 24-4, and whereas the win of the 2018 Campbell County Elementary Hurts Division Championship becoming championship winners for the fifth straight year, and whereas Carroll Elementary Lady Cardinals were supported by student body, teachers, parents, administration, fans, and coaches, and now therefore, Due to their total dedication to practice and play, I, E.L. Morton, Mayor of Campbell County, Tennessee, proudly named tomorrow, January 23rd, 2019, Carroll Elementary School Lady Cardinals Basketball Thumbs Up Day. Uh, well, we really appreciate the 
the honor. You know, anything to make it even more special for the girls, that's what it's all about. But the only thing they had asked me to ask you all was if the coaches could be tax exempt. No. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Well done. Yes. Great job. Mr. Mayor? Yes. Three of those children were selected in Knoxville to play on the AU team at Travel Soul. Well done. Welcome, people. Congratulations. Okay. Team with some accomplishments. Come on up here. I'm going to start shaking hands now, so you can know work from it. You guys are going to have to go too deep to get everybody in here. Oh, Jordan, down here on my side. Come here, Jordan. Okay. <laughs> okay, this group has accomplished quite a lot. We're here to celebrate them as well. So, Campbell County, Tennessee, Office of the County Mayor and County Commission, Caribou Elementary Cardinals basketball team. Whereas the Caribou Elementary Cardinals team was made up of 11 players, 8 fifth graders, 2 fourth graders, and 1 third grader. Whereas the team played undefeated in county play with an average margin of victory of 18 points per game, with a record for the last three years of 35 wins and three losses. And whereas they won the first round of the county tournament, 35 to 15, and advanced to the championship round to win 29-23. And whereas the win of the 2018 Campbell County Large Division Championship, becoming championship winners for the third straight year, and have not lost a game in this division since 2015. And whereas Carroll Elementary Cardinals, <laughs> student body, teachers, parents, administration, fans, and coaches, and now therefore, due to their total dedication to practice and play, i.e. E. L. Morton, Mayor of Campbell County, Tennessee, proudly named today, January 22nd, 2019, Carroll Elementary School Cardinals basketball, nothing but net bay. Coach, the uh, Mayor, I want to thank you. Uh, thank the commissioners for uh, recognizing these boys. They've worked hard and uh, for this championship this year. Uh, I'm proud of them. Uh, so I want to thank them for their hard work and all the parents for all they did for us this year. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Just a note of the civics lesson, all of our meetings for the commission are public meetings, you're welcome to stay. We're going to do things like pay bills, and we're going to talk about county courthouse business, and um, all kinds of just fun stuff, and you're welcome to stay, but you're not part of it. Thank you for coming, Terrence.
Amendment is seconded by Stanfield. Is there any discussion? We vote yes or no, press confirm. Do you wish to change the vote? Do you know, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Next item is notary public application approval. Second. Second by Stanfield, second by Hort. Discussion? That's the ones for day two? Yes. Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Committee reports and minutes. What's the pleasure? Second. Second by Stanfield. Second by Orton. Discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Yes, Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Approval of budget amendments and other funding motions. Motion. motion by Kitts. Second. Second Approve one order. through one through one six. One through six. One, th one through one six. One one through one six. That's all we have, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Any other discussion? Huh. Please vote yes or no, that. press confirm. It's working on that page. Do you wish to change the vote? <clears throat> Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Approval for payment of the monthly travel card. Motion. Motion Second. by Stanfield. Second by Davis. Discussion? Mr. Chairman, did it get out, off the cards get fixed up this time, or are you still waiting on them? Yeah, we're waiting on my old card to be replaced. Okay. But, um, I, no, actually, I got my card. I've locked your card up in the safe. Oh. When Amanda gets hers, I think I'm just going to come off that account. That's okay. Amanda's not getting one. She's going to come down there and use that one that she was issued to you. Okay. I, mean, I thought Chairman we talked Mitchell about decided to do. So. She's out of the use. She's able to use the house because we got some business to do in, in March. She, yeah, the commission right. gave the authority to come to use your well, we card. Well, it's whatever you choose to do. Well, it was up to her, so that's the way she wants to do it. That's the way. I'm going to keep that one locked up. Right. Just, but she's available to use it to come take care of our needs. Yeah, well, if you're out of town, she needs to make a use it. It's locked up in the safe in, in our right. office. So there'll be someone right. there. Right. My staff's got access. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. We're good. Okay. Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no, press confirm. Then we'll change the vote. Then no man part, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Reports from county officials and departments. Mr. Chair, make the motion. Stanfield, yes, discussion. Please vote yes or no, and press confirm. <laughs> If they'll make them quick, I'll have them set by. Do you wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Reports from organizations receiving funding from the county. Motion, motion by Stanfield, second by Kitts. Discussion. Um, we, you know, not in particular to these. Um, I did send a memo down to the chamber <coughs> and send to be prepared to come up and talk about their account. So, any other discussion? Uh, let me find my note here. 
run over something else like sure. So the, all the donations that Cabin County gives, I, that literature, I won't ask for no more. <laughs> <laughs> Learned your lesson, did you? <laughs> $430,015 we donate to various I'm not counting the animal shelter, which puts in over $500,000. So I went over all, every one of them, and I won't ask for that anymore. But some of them, you know, we can check on. Some of them, I looked at their bank accounts, what was left over at the year, and about every one of them had less left over than we did. So that, that was an indication that maybe if, if the books are right, they need us. Mm -hmm. There were some had more, like the University of Tennessee thing and all that, but but I was, I'm, that's fire departments and all. Right. Yeah, fire mm -hmm. departments and everybody. Hey, Mr. Chairman, I want to ask Mr. Davis, did, 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 were any of them wasn't using it at all? Or? Oh, I didn't get in. They're using it. I mean, I'm just saying, they, that book that you got, yeah. if you get mad reading it, get mad at me. I just want to ask for it. But it gives a rundown of how everywhere the dimes go. Money we give them, money everybody else gives them. Where but where it goes at the end of the year, but what I looked at was this year. <coughs> if we was giving somebody $15,000 in the year, they had $90,000 left over, then they didn't need us. That's what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. So, but you all need to look at it, and when we come to discuss it, probably go faster than we think, because there won't be very few of them that we should look at and take them the money from. I think they're pretty pretty good and giving us the information we needed and pretty showing that they really need the money. So and I think as commissioners it's our responsibility to make sure the tax dollars is not being wasted. And that's all we wanted to do. Every one of us in here, that was our intent, was to look and see if it's being misused. I actually, concur with that. It actually hasn't been done since I've been sitting here, and that's good. Well, well it was your idea to start with, and then I jumped in front of you. No, that's fine. As long as it gets done. Right. But, but, but it's all of us at the time, the, the older commissioners, questioned it and we wanted to see this. And it sure helps to understand what you're getting for your money. Well, and, and rural communities don't have rural fire services and chambers of commerce without county support in southern Appalachia, so well, it's important. Commissioner, we are elected to oversee the taxpayers' money and to not ask the question. Just because the commissioners ask the question about where some money's going don't mean we want to take it or we're mad. We want to, mm -hmm. it's your job to know. And that's all we want to do. That's what the public needs to know. I think we were just trying to know. Well, they're utilizing the money pretty, pretty much but what they're supposed I to be I think so. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, any other discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. <coughs> Does anyone wish to change their vote? Page 89. Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Other matters is quite a few items. <coughs> AOC court security grant. Motion approved, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Ward. Second. Second by Stanfield. Mm -hmm. Second by Davis. Second by Stanfield. Stanfield. Okay. Any discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Mr. Baker, can you confirm? Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please shake the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Ether Grant contract. Motion approved, Mr. Thank Chairman. You, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Ward, second by Kids. Discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Sorry, I thought I pushed it. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. I can't recall, did we conclude that we needed a, a vote on direct deposit? Okay. Motion to approve. Motion Second. by Davis, second by Ward. Any discussion? Uh, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, nobody's complained for or against this great deposit. My opinion, you know, it should be anybody's option. There might be a few out there that may not have an account, savings account, checking account, or whatnot. My personal opinion, I'd rather have a great deposit. Some people would rather not. That's just my opinion on it. Yeah, I've also been approached by what Mr. Trevor was talking about. Um, is it going to be necessary to put put it to, to be mandatory, or is it something that they the uh, they'll have an option to do? Or mandatory. that's the, really an issue. I, I think it's going to be the system that we're going to live by if you vote it through tonight. But it's good for the old people like me and Thomas people and young people. So there's a lot of people that's not that's not wanting it because a lot of them, like you just said, a lot of them don't have accounts and they'd rather go get their check, be able to use it on hand and use their money the way they need to, except getting take it to the direct deposit like that. I know there's a way that we, we as the body, need to really think about that. But it probably put a hardship on a lot of people. Mr. Marlowe? My thing about it is, is I think most certainly I don't want to force anyone that doesn't, an employee who doesn't have a bank account to get a bank account. Secondly, I believe in flexibility. Um, the way this is going to be set up, an employee is going to have to deposit it into one account. Um, at most places that require direct deposit, you can do it into like, um, say, a checking and a savings account. Um, I will say this, I think probably in the near future we might want to look at the uh, payroll software to where we don't even have to print pay stubs to where employees can go online. Um, I think, I mean, I find that kind of odd that the finance department being the biggest payroll processor in the county, that we're still using a paper system to process leave and print pay stubs. Amen. Commissioner Bird, then Commissioner Gorman. I agree with him on the pay stubs. I've actually mentioned it to Mr. Marlowe, and he kind of told me that you know security reasons was was one reason why he did. But I agree with Mr. Marlowe. I think the mailing the pay stubs out, paying that postage is really not necessary. I am for the direct deposit. You know, me working at a bank, I see it more and more every day. Technology is growing more and more every day. More people is going to the direct deposits. If it snows on a Thursday and you're supposed to get paid on a Friday and you can't get out, your money, you're getting your money. You're not having to wait till Monday to get your check. If you're it's on vacation. Yeah, go ahead and finish. So I, I'm for it for the reasons. You know, if there's bad weather or you're sick and you can't get to your check, you know, it's in there. You don't have to do without over the weekend. You know, most people these days live paycheck to paycheck. And so, you know, they maybe they can't go a weekend when they're supposed to be getting paid on Friday without a check. Mr. Gowen? Yes. Uh, if we do this, Mr. Oglam, he, uh, he won't have to write no check until he do waves to people, to people. I think it would reduce some duties. Um, well, I, they've always told me that two people doing that job. I, I think it simplifies things. I don't know if it eliminates a whole position or not, but I think it... If the bank makes money off everything. There's a potential savings there, <laughs> I think. Okay. I'll actually... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Kids. Actually, I wasn't really done with what I was trying to explain here, is I don't think that the body ought to, have, ought to be voting for something basically going against somebody's uh, priority about wanting to either uh, deposit or not deposit and, and it is a good idea what uh, Mr. Marlowe and uh, they were talking about here about uh, having them to send these uh, slips to uh, you know receipts to uh, or checks to the mail that's that's a lot of money wasted too so that being said I just think that it's not a good idea to enforce somebody to have a direct deposit it shouldn't be mandatory for us to be voting Mr. For Chairman that. Mr. Ork. I will say that the school board's done adopted it, and they've done it past it, and talked with finance today. Jeff wasn't in, but I talked to one of these ladies that takes care of payroll. It will help them tremendously with payroll, but most of the people's done signed up. I think the sheriff's department, I think the ambulance service, the majority of them, and I've not heard any complaints at all, and I'm sure that some of you have, but if you look at as the time has rolled on when I started working, it's been a couple of days ago, uh, 
you got paid with a check. Before that, people got paid with cash. Before that, you got paid with goats, chickens, whatever. So times are changing. And if you don't have a checking account in this world we live in today, it's about impossible to survive. Because some point in time, you're going to get to the point that you're going to retire and the federal government's going to send you a check, direct deposit. And I call for the question. Please vote yes or no, Mr. Mayor. We've had a call for the question. That somebody objects to the vote. Get a cop's thing. Does anyone wish to change the vote? No. Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. Ten yes, four no. No's being Charles Baird. Johnny Bruce. Mr. Chairman, I need to um, change it. I wanted to change it to no. That's what I intend, had intention to do. <laughs> And by the set to, for the record for Mr. Uh, Ork, I do have direct deposit. And for the record, I'm so tickled. <laughs> Joe, should we reset or just can we correct that? You can just correct. Correct it. Okay. So Commissioner Kitts wants to be reflected as voting no. And Commissioner Davis, did, did anybody else want to change their? No, no. I did that last week, but not this week. Okay. He pulled a wrap of us. Okay. So that reflects nine, yes, five, no, including Commissioner Kitt says no. That's good. Okay. You have your nose recorded? Okay. okay. Next time. Okay. Rusty, did, did they give you a percentage? Of, of how many? I think about every one in the sheriff's department did. There was a few part timers, my understanding, in the ambulance service. The road department, almost every one of them did it. Most of them was already doing it. Uh, and that's the ones that they gave me an example. I didn't have a whole lot of time to, to speak about it. But I think the majority of it, it's, it's always changing. I mean, the job I work on, you used, used to get a payroll check. That stopped. You get direct deposit. And the check and the stub that we're talking about, they're getting ready to start doing that. You'll get a check stub through the email. That's coming. It saves money on all that printing, all that headache, all that work, double checking everything. It saves the county some money, and it's coming. The whole world we live in, whether you want to, whether you want to stand by it and fight it, it's coming. I mean, it's just plain simple. Mr. Hey, Ork, what is it? Mr. Ork? I wish I got a social security check. Well, those days hey, Mr. Ork, also, uh, my understanding from uh, <laughs> what Mr. <laughs> Pardon. My understanding, too, it would also eliminate uh, some savings, too, uh, as Mr. Uh, Commissioner Goins was saying, in the finance department, too, right? I have no idea. I don't know. Do you, I don't know what all they handle. Potential right? savings there if you do it. There's not if you don't. Uh, uh, I got something to bring up. Uh, three years ago, I brought up the call savings plan. And you seen the stacks of papers we got last week. I tried to get iPads. He got voted down by this commission. And now we're looking at cost savings. We're four years down the road, we're three years down the road. It's coming. Kind of and look at it. Look how much money we put to save. And, and now we're looking at, you know, pay stubs, paychecks. Maybe. I mean, look. All right, we have a vote. Yeah. We can discuss that on a later agenda. We'll put it on. <laughs> we'll move to the SNH mining permit renewal application. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman. Motion to approve by Oric. Second. 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 Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no. Which one are we vote on? SNH mining permit renewal application. Place four. What number? I see it. Number four. Do you wish to change their vote? Seeing none, I have a clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Contract renewal for redundant internet for county offices. Second, Mr. Chairman. Stanfield, Kitts, second. Yes. Discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm.
Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Interlocal agreement with Town of Carroll. Mr. Motion Chairman. Approved. Motion approved. Commissioner Ward. Second, it don't matter. Stanfield, second. And this is this covers everything, Joe, from A to Z. It's me over here. Over here, I'm satisfied. Okay, and it cover one motion will satisfy everything. For Carroll, motion for Carroll, right now. We're just doing one. one. Joe, you pretty satisfied with everything? Yeah. Do we want? You want to modify it to include Jack? Bro? I thought I thought we was going to do all of them at one time, unless we need to. That's why I was asking Joe. We can do it one sweep, Jacksboro and Caribou. Yes. Okay, so modify the motion to include Jacksboro and Caribou. Yes. Second agree. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Yes. next. Do you wish to change their vote? I ain't know. Madam Clark, please show the vote. Yeah. Oh, boy, got it in time. <laughs> 14 yes. <laughs> I didn't see you there. That's Motion passed. I saw the draw there. Okay. Uh, okay. That included the additional revision. Okay. As Joe has recommended. Okay. Grievance policy for ADA compliance by the county. Motion by Stanfield. Second by Davis. Discussion. Mr. Please. Chairman, this is the same one with Anderson County. We're just changing our head in the Campbell County, Andy. The Anderson was, County we ADA. Had a draft from Anderson County. We were changing. I thought you was one brought that to our attention. <laughs> ADA compliance grievance policy. That was one that we yeah, we got that we got one from the father. One we have in our packets from Anderson County. I have not seen. He just made those. For last, last month, but not. So it's just been very bad. So we're doing it. Page 121. That's the one that keeps it stamped. Yeah. Keep back and keep hanging on the ADA policy. Okay. So reflecting Campbell County. Any okay, other discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes. Motion passed. Resolution to state legislature opposing school Motion vouchers. Approved. Second, second Mr. Mr. Chairman. Bill second by kids. Discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes. Motion passed. Contract regarding payment of mental health evaluation and treatment services for criminal defendants. Johnny and charge of misdemeanors only. <laughs> Motion by second. Field, second by Davis. Can you review that, Mayor? Contract regarding payment for mental health evaluation and treatment services for criminal defendants charged with misdemeanors only. Any other discussion? Where, where is that coming from, the money? Right. It uh, came from the state. 133. Oh, okay. <coughs> there was some because latitude in how key. much could be charged, and uh, Judge Salmon said this actually sets a ceiling and it's a better financial uh, value for the courts in the county. But there's no burden on on Campbell County. It's all come from the state. Is that your? No, this we pay for these services. But it's well, a state agency that has to contract. There's no. That's provide. my question. Do yeah. you know what the uh, the cost is in general? But it, of course, you can't know exactly. It says there's, there's a rate on the page from eight sixty one fifty two to eleven $1 hundred thirty nine dollars and forty nine cents. That's the rate. Because when they throw in treatment, see that they can, they can get expensive and long. Sir, and I, you know I know. 
we're primarily using Moccasin Bend in Chattanooga yeah. for an overnight facility. And we regularly pay five, eight, seven thousand dollars a month. And was it, did you say for misdemeanors? Yes. Yeah. Misdemeanors only. Ooh. Mr. Chairman, yeah. my question is, are we budgeting already for this in the past? There's yes, a new budget item. We are. <laughs> I'm not mistaken, if we don't sign it, then we're open to whatever charge that they have. Right. Like, uh, so it puts us... This puts a limitation that's not there currently. Um, and it, you know, a lot of judges actually lobbied the administrative office of the courts to actually do this, uh, to reduce costs. That was the effort. So what will, Mr. Chairman, fall back on the county, we'd have to pay it instead of the state? We or? are paying it now. Yeah, okay. The state provides the service and we pay the state, but it doesn't have a cap and this establishes a cap. Okay. So the intent is to save the county's money. Okay. But it's already budgeted. It's already a line item okay. in, the, in the court. Mayor, didn't, didn't this raise up about three years ago, I guess? Right after a man office? It's, um, well, when the North Shore facility closed, we had to start using that facility down there. And, yeah. and it, what we were paying that new facility in Chattanooga started fluctuating quite a bit. So, uh, but if not for the judges identifying the cost, we would. The cost sheets on page 138. Mr. Chairman, so if an inmate needs treatment, we have to drive them to Chattanooga for treatment. Yep. Knoxville closed about two years ago. And nowhere else we can. No, no, no but uh, I am. I've contacted Governor Lee, and I'm asking for an appointment, and um, I'm asking to get some beds in that facility that just closed under Tanoa for the region. Uh, Knox County is going to take over the building, but uh, good. It don't hurt to ask. Um, so, so you're saying Knox and Ben's got an exclusive contract to do that? They they have the assignment from the state to cover East Tennessee, and uh, the Tri Cities have facilities just about enough for them right. there's nothing we right. can really push up there so really from hamlin county morristown greenville south we all go to chattanooga and over to probably cookville it's one of peninsula still open in maryville it is um i think helen ross McNabb is running that facility and what used to be one in oak ridge also through but, it's, but they won't take nobody but misdemeanors. It's got to be somebody that, that's why this is all rolled up misdemeanor. misdemeanors. So my understanding is, is simple. If I, somebody goes there and gets in trouble and it's a misdemeanor, so we're going to be paying the bill to drive them to Chattanooga. Yes, the, sir. Yes, sir. Two corrections officers for years. Bands, and if it... Uh, but I, okay, I understand, Rusty. What's, can you give us an idea about what it costs us per, per time we do that? Oh, a couple thousand dollars. It's on the side. Possibly. It depends on the mental health treatment itself. You've got 300 bucks and man hours transportation, fuel, food, you know, but we've ranged, we've ranged $2,000 to $5,000 depending on the treatment or medicine. They it's according to what the charge is, I'd assume. Right. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Yeah. If the judge orders it, they're going. Sure. Usually the hospital, and Sue knows, the hospital will go ahead and call the, the sheriff's department to have them transported because of not mentally stable. It don't matter if it comes from Jellicoe, Caraville, La Follette, Jacksboro, the county has to transport. That's not just, that's that way all through the state. The county has to pay the fee. If they get arrested in La Follette and they go to the hospital and they, Dr. Caesar's a problem, 
Campbell County's call. So there's a big cost and the county has to take that in stride. But it, like Andy said, it's it's probably maybe one or two a week at, at the most, sometimes <coughs> maybe not that. Well, and, and but it used to be a lot better because you could take them to Oak Ridge, you could take them to Knoxville, and you could be back in less than an hour. Well, that's good. We got discussion because I, I I wanted to know a little bit more about that. I didn't know sure. actually. Well, and there's you know there's lots of people talking about different ways of doing things. This is misdemeanor only, but it gives you a schedule to go by. Um, it. Our, our health department is looking at different options across the state. And um, the other, the other thing that we've discussed uh, with the governor's office is actually putting beds out in rural community hospital uh, that have the ability to provide the security. Uh, they have the ability to have the medication on hand. So uh, everybody's looking for a better solution that that doesn't cost us a drive to Chattanooga. Mr. Chairman, I got one more question. Mm -hmm. Joe, have you looked at it and reviewed the contract? I look at it as deformed, but it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Important business. Question. Yeah. Okay. Call for question. Please vote yes or no. First confirm. Thank you. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes. Motion passed. For my portion, um, resolution for a joint bike trail system with Anderson and Union Counties. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Orr. Make a motion we approve the resolution Second. for the joint cooperative bike routes. Commissioner Orrick and Commissioner Goins. Discussion? Can we get that machine in spring to use it around our park? That's the intent. Okay. That is the intent. Um, any other discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Uh, unclaimed property, I don't know if we required a vote on that one. Mr. Marlowe submitted a memo. Mr. Chairman, make a motion we uh, approve the, the unclaimed property. Motion Second, forward. Mr. Chairman. Second by kids. Discussion? Please vote yes or no and press confirm. Douglas, you Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. And an information item, don't think I had it for vote, just on the dates for commodity distribution. Uh, school plaques. Motion to approve. Motion by Second. Davis. Second by Stanfield. Yes. Since this is wide open wind, mm -hmm. um, you know, we have postponed for tonight. Mm -hmm. Would y'all have a problem with them coming here workshop night so they don't have to wait so long? Mm -hmm. You want to prove it tonight, though? Don't well, we prove it now and then. Andy, <laughs> right, be all right with you? I call it. We'll try to workshop. We'll, we'll <laughs> tell them, and you tell me it's ready, and I'll call them, and we'll have them on workshop instead of waiting, waiting for them. Because we have they're supposed to be here tonight, and when we brought up so many kids, we didn't have the literature to do them by all four, so Carable got their team first, so we told Carable. Okay. So motion to approve and present at February workshop. Okay. I think we've got to also purchase some more of those plaques. Okay. We're going to be cleaning time enough. Yeah, it should be. Should be. Okay. okay. Well, if it's not, so. okay. If it's not, well, then that, then it is, if it ain't ready, then I'll contact them when you're telling me straight. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Marlowe, confirm. Does anyone wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Mr. Mayor, those two coaches that, those was two, the last two coaches, Johnny Bruce Hardy. And he didn't know one of us my son and one of us my brother-in-law. He wasn't hard about it. <laughs> 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 right. 
Okay, county bereavement policy. We added spouses, grandparents to it. What's the pleasure? Commission? Motion to approve. Second, Second Mr. Chairman. Second by kids. Discussion. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Brownfield's grant application. Motion approved. Motion by Art. Second. Second by Stanfield. Any discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. Mm -hmm. Wait, Stanford. Does anyone wish to change? Oh, Mr. King. Does anyone wish to change their vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Andy, did we miss anything? Uh, what about the line? We don't need to now. I'll let the windows say you're going to put in. That was, we did. that was the court. You approved that. Okay. Yes. Okay, alphabetical order, I think. Yes. Mr. Dwayneberg. Um, I've got a couple of things. I passed out a, uh, a paper to uh, each one of the uh, commissioners. I think I'll let one with you, to Mr. Morton. This here is out Hiawassee 1. Um, of course, it's an old subdivision. Uh, I just recently started Hold looking on at it. So we can get you on record. The way you can't lie about it. <laughs> Okay. I want to see. Um, the purple that's highlighted is, um, of course, is a roadway um, for the lots that are in yellow, of course. And the ones that are circled in red is the developer still owns those lots, just the ones in red. But um, I talked to Jordan, uh, the planning commission uh, commissioner, and. Um, there's, there's a little bit of concern here. Um, I also talked to Ron Dillbeck. Those roadways were never adopted by the county. Um, I know most of the time when something goes to the planning commission, the roads have to be completed before we sign off on it. Of course, this was done before we started doing the planning commission. Um, so these laws that are in the yellow technically have no, um, they have no way to get to them unless they put in their own, want to pay to get their own road put in there and everything. Um, talking to Jordan, he said there is a couple options. One is the county can adopt them, which means we got to put the money to put into them. Um, the second is they can go back to the developer and say, hey, you didn't finish the project. Um, you're liable for it. Um, can be sued. But my personal opinion is, you know, they, they may not ever get developed. Who knows? But right now, they don't have a chance to be developed. And that's tax money sitting there being, that we're not getting because they're not being developed. And Jordan stated that you are not supposed to sell lots as a residence unless you have a roadway to them, a, a developed roadway. And, of course, in this structure, there is none. So, um, for one, I want to bring it up. One is, you know, especially the people that's on the planning commission. I think we need to make sure that when we do, you know, release a bond or something like that, like that, that we know for a fact that every road that's supposed to be in that subdivision is complete. Um, and then two, you know, maybe we need to look into something on this, and maybe there's more out there. This is just one that I saw in particular that concern me i think that's like 27 lots that you know if you build you know 10 houses out of those 27 lots that's some pretty good tax revenue but like i said as of right now it can't be done unless somebody wants to put a lot of money into it and do it themselves mr chairman commissioner Orr. did you research how far back this was Dwayne? from my understanding uh it was back in the 70s so it was way before the planning commission before era. The planning, late seventies, early eighties, is from my understanding. It so, was a Tennessee Land Company, I believe, was the developer. So it's going probably 
these people that has bought into this probably has a right to sue the developer and not the county. That's correct. Okay. Because the, because I talked to Mr. Delbeck and he said the county never adopted the right of way. No. Um, so, but that's something to look into as far as, um, you know, like I said, there may be other ones that's like that. Uh, but like I said, it's something that uh, we may need to look into. And then I got one more thing. Um, I know it's getting ready to come up, and it's probably not everybody's uh, liking whatever, but the insurance. Um, I think, personally, um, we've got great insurance companies around here. That uh, we got several around here, actually. And I don't think we need to put our eggs into one basket when it comes to brokers. Um, there's nothing wrong with who we go through. Uh, but I would like to keep the money local, you know, and do business with local companies. But I think um, that every insurance company around here should have the opportunity to earn the county's business. Um, and I th also feel like to eliminate the gray area that, say we have an insurance committee meeting or even a county commission meeting, that uh, we tell them to bring the bids in they submit them right there, we open them right there, and if we got any questions about what they've got, then uh, we can address it, ask them those questions. That leaves no gray area, uh, no stone unturned. And then the same thing with the uh, health insurance. I know we bid out the Humana, you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about brokers. You know, different insurance companies that um, can sell the same exact thing that, that we get now. But I think we're not allowing the insurance companies that we have in town to have an equal opportunity um, as other people. That's all I got. Commissioner Rubin. Uh, just one thing, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Amanda, do you have a list of when you know, we had specific committee meetings? You know, those have been on a quarterly, semi-annual, annually? I do have the one that we made up in the committee, yeah, I guess you would say. However, most of those have changed. Um, certain committees have changed their dates just to kind of accommodate more meetings. So I do need to update that, but I did have one. If you could get that out to us for next month, therefore, we have any semi-annually or annually meetings coming up? We did not establish what months or whatever that those would be set on. We didn't establish when that would start or you, you can get that for us. Okay. And, and also I guess we need to make a careful to uh don't get what? take care of the basketball teams. Yeah. And care of them. You know, to Too approve. Far. We didn't approve it. Yeah. You and Sue's numbers. Is it on your so I don't. I didn't have it wrote down for nobody. It was on Johnny Bruce. It was on Johnny. Was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Johnny. Is that in form of a motion? Yes, it is. Second. Motion by Bruce. Second, Second by, by me and Go Beard. And go. Okay. Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no. Press confirm. What are we going to do? Just tell me. Not like her own policy. <laughs> Does anyone change your vote? See you now, Madam Clerk. Please show the vote. A fine job. 14 yes, motion passed. Commissioner <laughs> Davis. Okay, we don't need the or two schools. We had a sanit can chairman, sanitation meeting, and I need to make a motion to send a letter of approval to the Union County Landfill that Campbell County is in interest in just negotiating a contract with them to take our garbage to their landfill. Second, Mr. Motion. Motion by David, second by Kitts. Discussion? This is in 10 only. In 10. It's in 10 only. Let me ask a question. Mm -hmm. If they, I understand that be five counties. Suppose there's just four counties. Joining. They're looking for four to five based on volume. I, I didn't even know if it'd be more money if we didn't get five or not. They're looking for a certain amount of money and we'll negotiate that out. I fully expect though that, that waste management is probably gonna is gonna counter offers as well too, but so it could be as many as five or as few as four, depending on volume. Well no discussion. 
Let me say, Mayor, and I'll make it real brief, the sanitation committee is doing a great job, and you don't hear that from me often. Ends are doing good. Uh, what you are bringing forward, I appreciate you. It's going to save us some money. Call for questions. Please vote yes or no, press confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Have I taught you something tonight? Thank you, Rusty. <laughs> Rusty, I appreciate it. I'm on that committee, too. Do you wish to change your vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Okay. Commissioner Douglas. No, I'm, I ain't done. I ain't done. Sorry. Go ahead. We, we, also, we also had a meeting tonight, and our new director is wanting to allow the Campbell County building trades to build two new buildings for White Oak and Oswego and he's going to get both of the buildings built for what will we end up with one. It's going to be completely finished, heating our system in both of them, electric, everything's done. When they set it on the property, all it has to be done is hooked up to the electricity and we're in business. Going to save sure. maybe $10,000 by doing it this way and I make a motion that we give him permission oh, sure. to do it. We need suspension of the rules, Ralph. I'm sorry. I, I didn't have it on the agenda. Well, well, I make a motion we suspend the rules to, to bring forth what Mr. Motion Davis. Motion by Ark, second by Gil Baird to suspend right. the rules. To Thank you, Russ. Motion. Any discussion on suspension of rules for consideration of motion? Okay. Please vote yes or no. Press confirm on suspension of the rule. Does anyone wish to change your vote? <clears throat> See none, Madam Clark, please show the vote. 14 yes, rules are suspended. All right, I'll remake my motion. Second is motion, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Not motion to exceed second. Second. Discussion. Hit. I, the the building will not exceed thirty five hundred dollars. I'll take the endorsement. And each building will cost about thirty five hundred dollars completed. These two buildings before just an empty shell was going to cost four thousand dollars. So, and then the, hooking up the electric where it was going to go to thousands of dollars, just going to go down to a couple thousand. So our new director, if we allow him to do this, is going to save us easily ten thousand dollars just by doing this. And not only that, it gives our building trade kids training, experience, and God knows I need people to work for me. I hired three last week and every one of them showed up. <laughs> Somebody's been talking to them about them, tell them how I am, but. <laughs> Dependability. <laughs> yeah, I'm just guess. Yeah. Yeah. Please vote yes or no, Fred. Yes. Good job. Does anyone wish to change your vote? See none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion passed. Okay. Okay, Commissioner Douglas. I don't think I had that number. Okay. That's right. Commissioner Goins. Well, I had the gate up and they fixed that damn good job. Great. Yeah. Commissioner Higginbotham. Yeah. He did. Just the um, people, uh, we had said, um, Bill went ahead and fixed the Wells Springs Convenience Center gate. Also, I guess I need to make a formal motion of um, we had the dedication for Tommy C. Steiner yesterday. And it went really well. We had, over, I think, over 300 attendees. Had a crowd. Um, really good. So Appreciate everybody coming out. Good crowd. Good crowd. So I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve that. Okay, motion by Higginbottom, second by Stanfield. Approve the name, Mr. Chairman. Before they vote, real quick, that we actually need to do something. The airport committee on the signage on the on the side coming into the airport sometime this coming. Uh, well, hold on, just a second. I I didn't have that on the agenda. Did I miss something? I thought we voted on that already. Kind of proved it. Well, we voted to to go out there and have the dedication. We didn't actually approve the actual dedication. We done, we, had, we, had, we, had, we done did. Yeah, we did do that. I, I we, think brought, we, did. we brought it up last week. Yeah. And it has to be on the agenda. Hey, they just want to make it formal. It's going to be a okay. formal motion. Call for the question. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I don't have it on my agenda. <laughs> well, okay. Well, he, then he ain't on his. Then please vote yes or no for us to pray.
Does anyone wish to change your vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, mm -hmm. I wasn't done when you jumped me. <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Pete. I thought you was done. Let's like, come, boys. I was going to try to get a hold of the TVA. Maybe Andy can help me out with it. Um, I was approached by a couple individuals to try to get a courtesy dock out there at the graveyard site. There were about 30 some fishermen out there two or three weeks ago, and we were requesting a courtesy dock. And we set a rec committee meeting with Cora. Talk about that and a couple of other things with Cora. Yeah, he'll be there uh, for the February meeting. So, all right, Ralph, I didn't have it written down, but I didn't mean to blow by you. That's all right. I don't know how you are. What do you need? <laughs> this is for you too. All right, I need to make a motion that we allow sanitation and the mayor to renegotiate a new contract with the landfill. Second, Mr. Chairman. Remember that was on my docket. I got it wrote down. The secretary you did. approved it. You did. Yeah. Okay. It's, 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 run, it's running out. It's in, a 90 day notice. Yeah. And we have to yes. vote to give you permission to renegotiate. Okay. So I have a motion. Later. Seconds. Second by kids. Discussion. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Please vote yes or no and press confirm. I have one more thing. How did I miss? I don't know. I, I wasn't at the airport hangar yesterday, and I talked to some people that were there, and the, Santa, or the airport committee was never thanked. <laughs> If it was, they didn't live the man's life, but was without the airport committee, bring it for the commissioners to get it approved, it would never have happened, and not a soul thanked Mr. Higginbottom or none of the, the, of the uh, committee for putting it together for him. They, they did recognize and thank all elected officials. Elected officials, but then no one com commended the committee for, I ain't on it, so that's the reason I'm saying something. They didn't recognize the committee because it wasn't for, Robert put a lot of work in this for, for a year and a half, and he never got a thank you out of it. And I, I mean, that's, I'm speaking for Robert. He, he didn't even know I'm going to do this. So, Thanks, but that's Ro me. Robert. Robert, I appreciate what you did. Thank appreciate you Robert. you, Robert. Thanks. They gave him a cookie appreciate on the it. way out. It was a brown. But, <laughs> all right, I'm done. Okay. Uh, I I didn't vote. Commissioner Kitts. Uh, yes, Mr. Morton, I want to, <coughs> Chairman, uh, commend you on doing a. Hold on just a second. We need to. We got both. Okay. We need to vote on the renegotiation notice letter. Yeah. So please vote yes or no on the renegotiation notice letter. Who voted on it? Okay. <coughs> oh, I Madam Clerk, please show the vote. 14 yes, motion back. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Kidd. Yeah, I want to commend everybody that showed up at the uh, airport at the uh, new naming of the airport. And, uh, Mr. Chairman, you did a good job in the presentation as well, and I want to appreciate you and commend you on that. Um, everything seems to be going pretty smooth in the second district, and uh, with good leadership, I'm able to work real well with them. And uh, so uh, everything's doing good. I appreciate it. Good job. Commissioner Marlowe. Um, I'm good. I'm not going to bring up the paper checks, but I will say, in case y'all want to do some research, social, the Social Security Administration does allow two forms of payment um, for Social Security um, via debit card also, so they offer two forms. So I just think it's kind of odd that we only are going to offer one. Quit whining. Mr. Nance? <laughs> no. Mr. Orr? <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, don't forget your disclosures by the end of January. Uh, I've got that wrote down. Uh, and we have a, in March we have a meeting day on the hill. Don't forget to sign up for your registration for your hotels and and the trip. And the last thing, uh, Lonnie Weldon was here and brought up about 
Um, William Hill Drive, which is a section of road that runs off of uh, right before we get to Goat Rock Bridge. The Planning Commission had recommended to the Commission to approve it as a county road, and Ron Dillbeck has too. But uh, I talked to Ron today, and he's all for it. It's about 100 yards. It's wide enough. It fits all the descriptions that, that falls into place. His recommendation is accepted as a county road, and my motion is to also accepted as a county road. Second, Mr. Chairman. My kids discussion. And that's contingent on the on the signatures. I, he told me that Joe would have to get something together on the signature for the property owners, and uh, and that's all contingent on all those signatures. I think there's three. Mr. Orr, that is the second district, is that right? Right close. It's About right high, high. Okay. And if you go just a little ways, you're in the first. Half and half. The way the wind blows. If right. the wind blows, you're in the first. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Any other discussion? Please vote yes or no. Trust confirmed. Any wish to change the vote? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, please show the vote. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Commissioner Orr. We had a, and, and Andy said we'll hold off on it next month, and the EMS committee had actually talked about it in their committee about a surplus in a fire truck that we actually gave away to White Oak. And it's, so just look next month. I'm not going to spend the rules for it. He said we could wait. So uh, there'll be a fire truck coming up for surplus. Okay. Is it, is one setting up for rural fire service and they would like to have Okay. Okay. Amanda? We need to We need to change the date for February's commission meeting because it falls on President's Day and also set a date for the junior board to come and meet with you next month, either before the workshop or before the commission meeting. Please. What's the pleasure? Um, I would like, um, with the junior board, I served on it for two years. When we came to the courthouse, um, right after the, we met with you all, um, we toured the jail. So I think we did, I think we came in during budget and finance. I would recommend that we kind of keep that the same way. Workshop? Yeah. Or budget finance? Yeah. To come prior to the workshop? That's workshop. You know, one day, uh, Chairman, you want to set, we always move it up. A day, a day, Tuesday. That'd be fine with me. So I think that's the 19th, if I'm not mistaken. I can't get it in my phone. Well, if we have the ball team here, though, he'd offer pizza. Yeah, it'd be Tuesday the 19th is what day we would move it to. Okay. To decomplete the holiday, uh, Tuesday the 19th, okay with everybody? Okay, that'll be our day. And we'll workshop. Workshop for the junior board at 5. That's budget and finance. This portion is budget and finance. 530. 530. Zach exactly. said the junior board usually comes in and they introduce themselves and we introduce ourselves to the commissioner. Do we want to convene early for that? Or do we want to do like, we could do like a QA if we wanted to, like at 5 or 5 15. They are also bringing pizza. Yeah. We'll be bringing food. So. Five. Okay. Then we'll go early with budget finance five. Okay. Our uh, property assessor, Brandon Parton, thanks for being here tonight. You got anything for Biden? <laughs> We're looking for a really good assessment. That's right. Yeah, run down. All right. You know what? All right. Run down. Thank you, Motion to adjourn. We set a land speed record tonight.